Hello, this is Dr. Yum. So we are going to learn selected by locations, right? So we just finished the selected by attribute. So selected by location, uh, that is very similar, but totally different functions. Of course, it is also extraction function, but uh, the process will be different, okay? So this is Ohio, same file, employees and Ohio rules and census track like this, like this, Cuyahoga County, Cuyahoga County neighbor, Cleveland neighborhood. So now I'm going to zoom in Cuyahoga County first. So let me click and zoom in Cuyahoga County here. So now I'm going to turn off unnecessary file at this moment. So I'm going to turn on employees and I'm going to turn on Cuyahoga County and cities. Here you can see all like the city boundary in the Cuyahoga County, right? So I'm going to uh, make it a little bit thicker and, and the beige colors. Okay, I think this is much clear. So now, so in the clip and selective attribute, both were kind of the extract function. The selective by location also extract function. So in the clip, in order to extract all the employees, so the employee was your input feature and Kaiga County shape is your clip feature which is cookie cutter right then you can clip it right yes you can do that but selective by location is much easier i'm going to go selective by location here select and select by location then you will see those kind of screen right then now here you need to see here i want to extract the employees the point data based on shape of Cuyahoga County cities, right? So my target layer, target layer means same as input feature, like this. I'm going to select target layer. And then based on what shapes are you going to select? So I will say source layer will be Cuyahoga County cities. You can also select the other layer, but this moment I'm going to extract the all the employees within Cuyahoga County cities, which is the old employees in the Cuyahoga County actually, right? Then I did not touch anything, I just set the target layer and source layer. It is important, you need it's gonna be really confused in the future, target layer and source layer. Sometimes you like you need to switch like usually your common mistake you switch the selections right so your target layer is gonna be Cuyahoga County City and then your uh, the source layer is employment that's gonna be wrong right so employees and this is target layer and then source layer will be Cuyahoga County Cities I'm going to click OK right that's it then you are going to here, if you if you open the employees attribute table, you can see here, nine hundred ninety nine. Like this has been selected. All they are within Ohio, uh, within the Cuyahoga County, right? This is how you can do selective allocations, right? So now here, then you can just right click, data export into select by location employees Cuyahoga okay save it click OK done yes so I'm going to do change the color like the red so those are within Cuyahoga County then I'm going to remove this at this moment what if I want to 
I want to extract employees within city of Cleveland. I only need employees within city of Cleveland. How we can do? I'm going to click select the feature icon and I'm going to click city of Cleveland and I highlighted it right then I'm going to go select by location again then now everything is same everything is same what, what, what I need to do I need to turn on this box huge selected feature that mean our source layer of course that is Cayuga County City's whole stuff but with source layer I am especially using shape of Cleveland so I turn on this if you don't turn on this box then you will have whole Cuyahoga County so if you turn on this box and then click OK then you will select all the employees within city of Cleveland right then same thing open the attribute table there are 343 employees in the city of Cleveland right right so at this time like this you can right click fill the calculator and then you can go like the you can assign the city name on here I just click OK then here Cleveland now you can use this function in the selected by attribute or selected by location as well right so you can now you created like the location information here you can now you created like the data here right so you can do here you know what else this is like the okay this is a shaker shake heights right I think this is this is Cleveland Heights this is shake heights where I live shake heights so I'm going to go Selected by location again. So turn on select the, the use the search the feature. Same thing. Click OK. Then here, then I'm going to right click and open employees. And it has like here one is here. We got several. And I'm going to right click and fill the calculator. And then I will say double quotation marks shaker so you do not need to use like the under bar if you use like the quotation marks you can just make the regular space like this and I click OK then now we got the shake height so like this you can create the data in it also you can right click export data and then name it like the here shake height shake heights right you can do this yes then you will have the employees within shake heights like this so this is how you can use like the selected by locations okay so now I'm going to remember this I'm going to show you something very very interesting stuff so here we used to have the Kaiga County here I'm going to drag down here I'm just using here I'm going to turn up the Cleveland. So in the clip feature, we clipped the Ohio census track based on Cuyahoga County, right? Then we had like, and if I activate this, and then we had this one, right? I'm going to turn up this one. This is what we have. I'm going to right click and open. And then we have 448 census tracks, right? Then I'm going down, I'm going to activate again, selected by locations here. So I'm going to turn on Ohio Census Track like this. So this is Ohio Census Track, same file that you, ha you had before. And I'm going to extract the census track based on like Kaiga County, right? So what we can do here, I'm going to turn on I'm going to put this thing at the bottom. Then now we can see here. So like the layer order is also important, right? 
So now I'm going to go to the. I did not make any bookmark here. So I'm going to go like this. So I'm going to go selected by location here. And my title layer will be Ohio census track, right? And my source layer will be Cuyahoga County here, right? So now it's like the. This is default setting, like in the intersect source layer feature, right? Then I'm going to apply and OK. What's happening? I did exactly what I need to do. I I went to select by location, my target feature, yes, because I'm going to extract the census track from Ohio census track and based on Kaiga County shapes. What happening here? And then let me open. Here. So it was like the 460 something, but now we got 485. Why is that? And I'm going to activate clip and then check that out. How many is this trade war? 448, right? It's 448. But now, select our location, so I'm going to activate this again. If this is not 448. Almost like the 40, right? 30 something sensor track have been selected more. Why is that? It is because if you zoom in, So this like the boundary line and based on our theory it should only select within here 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 right so like this so we need to select only this 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 right can you see here can you see here if i click this it select all over here if i select this it select only here it does not select here so if you do this, this like the thicker county boundary, it touched this area, it also touched this, this census track as well. So it touched here, it touched it here, it touched it here, touched it here. So that's why it counted more census tracks. So we cannot extract those kind of like the polygon file. That means like the I am using I used two polygon file when I do select by locations. So this is OI census track. This is a polygon file, also Kayaga County. This one is one big chunk of the, the polygon file, right? So when you do this, you have to be careful like this here if you go here spatial selection method for target layer feature this is the intersect that mean you can overlay the Kaiga County layer on the Ohio census track 2016 tenure layer and then you are you just ordering extract every feature that the Kaiga County layer touched right that's why it extracted more census tracks. So if you go to here, this part, you can select have Deocentroid in the source layer feature. I select this. That means when you run these things, an ArcMap will calculate the centroid of each feature, like the just like the point. So it's like the it it will it, it it's gonna make the fake point on here on here 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 everything in here, so that point should be inside of this thicker line. Then it will extract that part. It will select that part. So now we have it here. I'm just click OK. Now, so. All these like the features, the centroid point within 
this layer and then let me see how many sensor track has been selected 446 right 446 right then let's go back to here 44a two more right two more I don't know which part okay it looks like the same let me extract data like the selected by location then I will say uh, Cuyahoga Cuyahoga tracks two uh, selected by location SL save it and OK yes then actually it does not matter whether or not at this point like that there are two more census track here than this look at this 480 and I'm going to open this and arrange the tables actually if you like to join this table to here what this to to here that you can easily find out which census track so here this one is from selected by location this is the by clip right so I try to let me and maybe maybe within here it looks like a little bit different in the bottom here it has more of this so like this here right six one zero 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 and let me see and activate this one and and we were sending like this then it was this one so now look at this this part so when you clip actually these two they don't belong to Cleveland the, the Cuyahoga County right this is we say this is the ghost data right this is ghost data it is really good example here this too I mean this lines belongs to this census track let me see here this census track and this census track I'm going to change the color pages here yeah so this census track when it when I mean the when when we clip this layer and then this Kaiga County layer this thicker line it clipped this part as well so the problem of this ghost data is like this they contain total population like this so actually this information belongs to here and belongs to here right so when you do clip when you do selective eye location you really need to be careful about the ghost data so actually when we clicked since that we create a census track data then we got the ghost data okay we we need to remove those kind of stuff so actually when we extract the the Kaiga County census track layer the selected by location is much more accurate right so this is kind of a good example right so I'm going to activate this one again so now actually in the Kaiga, Kaiga County there are 446 four, 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 census tracks right that is the correct number okay that is the correct number so the most important thing in the selected by location you go here selected by locations and then using this the use that the feature and then thinking about the target layer and source layer those are the most important and why don't we 
set using the selected by location function through like the with the line shape file something like this so this is road right this is road and this is Cuyahoga County and let me turn off this one this is Cuyahoga County right now so I want to select all the road within Cuyahoga County go to select selected by location right my my target layer yes that's gonna be road and this is Ohio road then my source layer will be Cuyahoga right then you know we don't have any centroid right we don't have any centroid so we're gonna go like the default then I'm just click OK what's happening what's happening it means like the these lines this line segment you know this one let's see this one and let me turn off and go here and then let me use select click this click this so this line this like Kayaga boundary it touched this segment and this segment as well that's why I selected like this sometimes if the segment is like here it touched like this and this one too this one too sometimes like the line just uh, cross the border line and then it will select everything right so here when you do selected by location on the road and line shape file I do not recommend to use this okay so selected by location you can the best way to use it for the point file of course you can use like the polygon to polygon right so this is how we can use the selected by location okay so next we will do erase function